morning. I went as a house boy while we were going to school. I had done everything. Work house boy, work janitor at CWA. Everything I've done to be where I am today with God's help. And I know you children here, you can be it. You can be it. Because, and especially in a plantation setting, when Ellen and I were in power, Firestone didn't have a high school. The houses they built for the workers were not good houses. We negotiated with them to build a high school. I know you have limitation. You have limitation here. Look at the number of people in this community. The purpose of leadership is to provide opportunity for the younger generation. We all will, all will leave this cut world, but you must leave behind you people who are prepared. You heard the mother talking, the concerns about their children. You know the Bible says that I don't mind is the devil workshop. If they don't find anything useful, they do the wrong things. You have a government that doesn't care. You have people here. And that's why we are here. We are not here looking for new opportunities. We are not here looking for money. But we said, this is our country. It is said that the thing that is chasing you, if it doesn't stop running, you can't stop running. Our country is in trouble. No future for the children. The mothers, when you become a mother, your hope is in your children. Fathers, they are home in their children. We see that the leadership, current leadership, they don't care. They send their children abroad for school. Then they put your children to go on course. So they're not just destroying you, they're destroying your future. And that's why we are saying the children everywhere we go and see, they say, uh, we sorry, we made a mistake. But when you make a mistake, you correct a mistake. You all are looking at teenagers. Some of you, as young, you have children. If your present condition is not improved, your children's condition will not improve. And we want to say in this country that this is enough. It's about time that we pay attention to our people. It is about time that good schools are paid for the young people. That the young people are trained vocationally so they can serve themselves and serve. Even if the child is not giving you anything but aid himself, you take care of themselves. We have rules. You know very well that the five original county, Grand is part of it. We can't continue to ride on these kind of roads forever. People say, wait, wait for how long? And so we are in this thing because of you. We want to change the history of this country. We want the young people to have a future. We want the young people to go to school and learn. We don't want them to destroy themselves. Because as you destroy yourself, your parents also, you're destroying them. And so we are here. Yes, you got to go through the process. But we are here to tell you the truth. That we are here 
to make a new Liberia where we encourage our children, put the facilities there so that they can learn and become their children in any other country. To stand, to stand, to wave, to say thank you, we appreciate it. But the way in which we show the appreciation is to make sure we do things that will create a future for you. And that's why we are here this evening to say to you people that we are very pleased to see you, but we feel obligated that we in leadership will make life better for you. Every human being, you, when you go to hospital where you have money or not, you say you have malaria, somebody say, I got medicine that would take six weeks, but it costs 50 dollars, and I got the one that would take two, uh, three months. I don't care how poor you are, you want the one that will heal you. People are human beings. The resources of the country are for everybody. All they make you need it to manage it so that you can benefit the people. This has not been happening. And we are seeing this time around, we need people who are God-fearing, people who respect humanity, people who know that the things of this country belong to us, and we're just there to manage. And so we are here to encourage you. Don't make a decision that will work against you. Because after six years of stealing, the next six years, I'm leaving, so I don't need to do anything. That's a mistake you should not make. We want to change this country for the betterment of our people. If it were not that, I would not be here. It's not politics, I'm telling you honestly. And I'm telling you, you probably, you're too young to my youth, don't know what we've done for this country. But you trust me. With the commitment that we have, the love we have for our country, my children went to school here. I went to America briefly, and I told them, you got to go back home, finish high school, college. If you want your master's degree, you go somewhere. You belong here. And they are here. There are people here who beg their pack right now because they think they have stolen enough money. So they can leave the country. There are people that were brought here from America to work. They pay their mortgage and they go back. But you don't have anywhere to go. You may go in the future, but you must go on the basis that you prepare yourself to come and serve your country. We have to build a new Liberia for Liberians. Don't let anybody tell you this is too good for you. Some of the houses that I see here are not too good for our people. I have been to Malaysia. I have been to uh, Indonesia. I see rubber tappers. They have cars. So I'm saying that why you may have been patient over the years? Let's put in the office leaders that will think about their country, that will think about improving the life, get a different time to enjoy but to learn so they too can be like other even better. And that's why we're here to talk to you. I know some of our people are, is that like an example? I feel guilty when I see people standing like this. 
that this means that you understand the way. The way in which you show them gratitude is to make sure you do something that will make their life better. So that's why we come to you before God. I want to thank you, young people. You are in numbers, but your future, I'm not saying that life is going to be easy, but we should create the environment that will make you want to learn to prepare yourself for the future. I went through it, but I have to make it better for you. And that's why we're here. So I want to thank all of you for the patience. Make sure we, we put vocational school. Not everybody can be the book, but you can learn to pray. You can be a good mechanic, a good plumber, a good carpenter, a good electrician. That's what they call learning. So that you earn your own money. Forget about it. Nobody will give you rice every day. Nobody will give you money every day. But when you prepare yourself, you can earn for yourself. And when you earn yourself, you will respect yourself. Your children will respect you, your family will respect you. Your friends will respect you. And that's what we want to do. And that's what we are committed to do. October 10th is here. Rice will not do anything for you. They will not give all of you right. They gave you money, so why they didn't give it 10 years back? Vote for your right, for your tomorrow, for your tomorrow for these young children of 10 years. So that they can have a future. And I promise you, I promise you, through God and our future. When the lecture, that's what we will do. To make sure your life is better and you'll be grateful tomorrow. Thank you and God bless you.
Please, two minutes. 